place award in this class is presented by Landrum's Milking Shorehorns of Gulford, Indiana. And the junior award is presented by Landsbrook Farms of St. Olaf, Iowa. My name is Sarah Schmidt of AMPI in New Ulm, Minnesota, and I'll be serving as your announcer today. Thank you for joining, thank you for joining us at this year's show.
Judge Trapp has made his selection in the spring heifer calf class of the International Milking Shorthorn Show. Here are our results. The second place junior in the class is entry 2190, Byers Dakota Faith, shown by Bradley Byers of Milo, Iowa. The first place junior, entry 2183, Cherrywood K. Clay's Rubin EXPET, shown by Roxanne Aachen of Ambia, Indiana. In third place, entry 2196, Lane View Sparklers Beauty, exhibited by Andrew Rice of Hellpin Farms of Kempton, Illinois. And in second, she's also the first bred and owned individual, added entry, number 2935, Days Land Acres Logic Loco, exhibited by Katie Alba of Walkersville, Maryland. And winning the entry, number 2194, North Stars Mega Peanut EXPET, shown by Corey Salzel of Eden Valley, Minnesota. Congratulations. And now, Judge Trapp. Well, good afternoon, milking shorthorn breeders, exhibitors, and spectators. Uh, we got our beautiful group of uh, spring heifer calves to start off our class today, but these first three heifers really stand out if this young man would pull his heifer out. A heifer that the longer she's out here in the ring, the more you admire this heifer. She's got the straightness of lines, the style, the balance, the openness of rib, the breed character that we're looking for. This heifer, for me, she's just more heifer than our heifer coming along in second. Our first heifer's got more width of muzzle, more drop to that fore rib, more sweet and depth to the rear rib than this ultra stylish mid -sub or mid March calf coming out in second. I love the style and the balance of this heifer coming out in second. She just grabs you, but just not enough motor to get in that first spot today. She uses the correctness of her hind feet and legs for me, being a little bit cleaner, boned in her hock. And when you get in behind her, she tracks with more wisp uh, from the hocks when you get in behind her. She's also a little bit more naturally straighter and stronger over the top line than this nice balanced calf that's coming out in third. Third over fourth, the third heifer for me just follows the pattern of our first two heifers, a little nicer than the big heifer in fourth. The third heifer for me, uh, just a little bit nicer in how her thurls are placed more equidistance between her hips and pins and thurls, which allows her to move more fluid on those rear legs than this big framed heifer that's coming out and forth. You love the frame of this heifer and forth. She's got a nice cut to her, but for me, she just got to move a little bit more freer and easier on those rear feet and legs to get higher. But she uses that obvious advantage in overall frame, capacity, and width to go over the heifer that's coming out in fifth. Fifth over six similar heifers here, but the fifth heifer for me, just a little square in her rump structure, a little bit more nearly level from hips to pins and the heifer that's coming out behind her. Congratulations to our exhibitors.